what is going on internet twin j game from scissor graphics welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be critiquing designs that i received from creatives now i'm going to share what is working and what is not working on the designs i'm also going to share how to improve as a designer so sit back relax and keep watching Now, before I get to the critiquing of the design, I want to quickly let you all know that there is no one right way to achieve a good design project. All right. But there's the part of understanding the goal of the project. In fact, the goal of the project is what shaped the look of the design. I'm going to stop here and I'll go straight to the designs. This is the first design I'm going to critique in this video uh i i like this project all right i like the layout i like the simplicity here and i also like the illustration used on the project and the only thing i believe is affecting the use of the white space here is this shape that we that we have here all right i don't expect to have i don't expect the designer to use this shape here this particular shape all right if we can take this out so i'm gonna move this here all right i believe this way it's still better than the before but this is a good project all right um you just need to work on you just need to work on understanding shadow all right how to play with shadow on um, your when you're making photo manipulation all right try what or try train yourself more on how to use shadow now i'm saying this here now because you know if you look at um if you look at the shadow you have here we have this you know we have this gray shadow here and this is this big did look more like uh the elements all right i'm talking of the the i'm talking of the images the illustration is about to land on the surface one of the ways you can make this look more like is actually on the surface is to make the shadow under the um the illustration more darker all right make it more darker than the way you know you have it here because one of the ways that one of the ways we use shadow to tell story in graphic design is through the uh visibility of the shadow if the shadow is too strong like the shadow is very visible it means the light effect is close to the subject and the subject is close to whatever is behind or below it so right now we're trying to make it look like this is close to the surface now i'm gonna add shadow to this i mean i'm gonna add curve to this excuse me then i'll make this darker like that like make this with that like that and i'm gonna hit control i now make sure you're on the layer mask of the curve and i'm going to hit ctrl i now then i'm going to zoom in like that and select the brush so and make sure that i'm on the soft round brush i'm going to turn this off then flow should be let's say 17. now i'm turning my flow down because i want to control the strength of my brush myself all right so I'm going to switch to uh, white here because you need to be on the opposite color of your layer mask here, right? So I'm going to just softly apply the shadow here, like that. So this way, all right, I think it's still better now compared to the before. So let's see the before and after. This is the after and this is the before, all right? So I think this is, I believe you all agree with me, all right? This is still better, all right? Because photo manipulation is also important, all right? It's also important to every designer. So if you really want to tell story well, like you want to, um help your viewers understand the message easily photo photo manipulation is also part of what you need to learn how to do well as a designer all right 
so that is it on this and um before i go all right i'm going to just recap again and it's and say what i notice on this artwork it's a good layout all right uh i like the symmetrical uh balance here and um the only thing i think the designer did not do well is just the photo manipulation part where the use of shadow is concerned but kudos to this designer all right so let's go straight to the next design aha uh -huh. yeah so uh you see I, I always say this to you guys that um uh every graph every design project has um a job to do and that job is to influence the reader all right you know uh if your design is not really drawing the attention of the viewer the time you spend on the design is just waste the work that the design need to do is not going to be achieved and one of the ways we we make this happen on our design project is when we don't put the audience in mind when we don't you know put the audience in our shoe they work all right the goal of you working on the design project is not to focus on yourself the two people you need to focus on is the client and the viewer now i know there are times when clients are going to make you uh do something bad but there are as a designer you need to learn the habit of educating them now right the, the reason i'm saying this here now is because of the layout all right the composition on this project here this project is not successful all right this project is not successful when you are asked to work on a design project for a brand who is selling items there should be something all right there should be one of the items that you're supposed to use to draw to draw the attention or to grab the attention of the viewers to look at every other information on the project but when you are trying to make them see everything at the same time, it's not different from when you meet somebody the first time and then you start telling the person everything about you, um, where, how you grew up, the, what the food you ate yesterday and like that. So there should be something like there should be sequence, all right, on your project. There should be something that when people see, it makes them stop and say, wow, is this possible? Oh, how, what is this? I like this. I like this look. I like, I, I feel like having it. And then you see them looking for, okay, um, how can I get it? Why do we have this illustration on this project? Why do we have the project like this? All right. But when you don't do that, the goal of the project is not going to be achieved. And another thing I want to say to you again is we don't use shape. All right. We don't just use shape because yes we want to just have the shape there no there's a reason why we use shapes in our design project all right most of the time we use shape in our design project we use it when we are trying to project important information another way uh another reason why we use shape is to create pattern all right now but when you now use similar shapes all through with picture clipped inside the shape you are going to make the project look too busy and confusing all right so this project is not successful at all so my advice to this person is please next time when you're asked to work on project like this pick one of the item make it loud make it big make it so big enough that you know People can easily see it from afar. Now, it's not every time you need to make it big. There are times when you need to make it small. But when you are making it small, make sure there's enough white space around it. Make sure there's nothing too close to it so that people can quickly see the object. All right? So I'm going to stop here on this, and I hope this person is going to take my advice. All right? So I'm going to go straight to the next design. All right. Now, um, this project is for uh, a brand who is into selling of uh, hair. All right. I can see Ghana weaving, not less braids, big braids, etc. All right. And um, this is not uh, also successful. And I'm going to tell you why this is not, you know, successful. You see. You know, I, like I always say to you guys, I know so many of you are used to hearing designers or design instructors say, you know, we are storytellers, we 
pass information to the viewers all right uh one of the uh, how we do this is how we compose our project how we place the elements how we the type of visuals we use on our project we don't just use pro visuals because okay we just want the project not to look too flat no we use visuals because we want to quickly help the viewers to understand the goal all right but when we don't use the right visu visual we're going to change the message and when you change the message you are not going to help the brand you're not going to help the organization achieve uh, you know its goal all right now i'm saying this here now because of the you know the illustration we have here which is this lady here the brand is into selling up hair all right i expect to see more of the hair than the face because the face is not uh um what people want to see they want to see the result of the hair so if you are going to use the hair all right now i'm not saying you should now go and get a picture of a hair and just put it no but there are times you need to do that but if you're going to use a character please let's see the full face of the character with the hair and then the expression on your on the face of your character is very important don't say because okay the client sent you a good or high resolution image or maybe you like the face of the uh subject and then you now place it on the project no the expression on the face of the subject is also important if the expression on the face of the subject is not happy it's not really showing that happy mood it's not showing that happy feel it's going to make it's going to create the impression that the product is going to get you hungry it's going to make you get mad instead of it to make you happy it's going to do the other opposite side of you know being happy and that's what i noticed here on uh you know this project the expression on the face of your illustration is another marketing tool to sell whatever you place on your project so when you receive the picture please check if there's this uh you, you know the expression of the uh character is you know is going to sell the product or is going to promote the brand don't focus on the quality or the beauty on the face of the subject now see there are times when you can use pictures of someone who is not happy but you only do this when the information on the project calls for it all right but if the information on the project never call for it please help the viewers help the brand make them achieve their goal use something that can that will draw the attention of the viewers to look at the project all right so yeah um that's for that on the illustration then the other thing i noticed here is um you see um the use of margin is very important in uh, design. In fact, in modern design, because um, uh, uh, most of the old school designs, the olden days design, they don't really pay attention to the use of margin. The fact that the design is even for um, is for social media does not mean you should not use margin. When I say margin, I'm referring to you doing this. All right, so I'm going to go to view now and I'm going to go to guides here. Um, where is it? Where is it? View guide and say, uh, no, it should be view guides and say new guide layout. So I'm going to turn this to zero and this should be. Okay, I don't need this. So turn on margin. All right. 50, 50, 50, and 50. All right. Now, the fact that I use 50, all right, for my margin here does not mean this is the only um, points that you can use for your margin. There are the, the, the uh, frame of your project determines the uh the margin that you have to use all right but make sure there's enough you know space like this so the i the idea of having this all right is like um you having a window 
All right. So whatever is placed right here is what people see. So the idea of this is to help the projects look simple and balanced. This white space here is very important. So never place anything around here. All right. Now, your picture can go outside of this like the way you know you have it here now. All right. Your picture can go out like the way you have it here. But when it comes to text, all right, when it comes to text, please never make it go outside of your margin like the way you have it here. All right. Don't do this. This should be here. Talking of all this information here. All right. It should be here. And this needs to move up a bit. And lastly, all right, if you're uh, trying to promote or sell an item, all right, you're doing a design for a brand who's trying to sell an item. Never place any information on the item. So if you're selling hair, if the goal of the brand is to promote hair, all right, please don't place any information on the hair. All right, so people can see the beauty of what they want to buy. All right, so I'm going to stop here on this and I'll go straight to our last design for today. Now, before I critique this design, all right, I want to say this to this designer. And in fact, not only to this designer, uh, this is for every one of you. Now, what we do as designers is to entertain the viewers. In fact, we are more, we are entertainers. The fact that we don't appear on the screen does not mean we are not entertainers. We are entertainers. How we entertain people is through creating of designs. All right. And you can't achieve this when you are scared working on design projects. You achieve the entertaining of the viewers through playing. All right. Now, the playing part is when you are putting together the elements, but you don't put together the elements, forgetting the client and the audience. When your design lack that entertaining feel, it's going to make it look boring. And that's what I notice here. All right. Uh, the information here says, join us on the Learning Gazette. Now, I'm not saying you should not make it look like a party um, or to make it have the party feel or something. No. If you're going to use a microphone like this, all right, I expect you to do something that connects this information to this, like play with the title and this, your illustration here. All right. You know, one of the things that help we creatives entertain our viewers more is when we create what they don't see coming, when we create the unexpected. That is why if you check most of all these uh, entertainment uh, TV programs, I'm talking of uh, um, MTV Base, Trace, and so on, you notice that whenever they want to play with their title, they don't make it look like the way you are used to seeing it. They play with it in a way that you will find it easy to read the information. I'm talking of the title, and it will still give you that. It will still give the uh, the look, the design, that lively look. So when you're trying to do a project like this, always have that type of layout, that style in mind. Remember, we are trying to entertain the viewers to read the information on our project. But when we don't do it the right way, it's not going to make them get involved. All right. In fact, it will make them, it will make you, uh, um, you know, the informing them is not going to be, it's not going to be there. I want to sh quickly share one last thing with you before, you know, I sign out from this video. I'm sure so many of you are used to seeing people with megaphone passing information to the public. And I'm sure that some of you that are looking at me here now, 
In fact, I'm sure every one of you here, I'm sure you mostly don't listen to them when you see them hold the megaphone. The reason why you don't listen to them is because you are used to seeing uh, you're, you're used to seeing people with the megaphone talking through the megaphone, all right? And you don't want to continue hearing the same thing over and over again. But when you see somebody with a funny glasses, with a funny hat, and he's holding a megaphone, you surely stop and listen to him. Now, the reason why you stop is not because you like what the person is putting on no yeah yeah it's possible maybe it's because of maybe you like what the person is putting on but the major reason why you decided to stop and listen to the person is because the person is the person looks different from what you are used to seeing when somebody is holding the megaphone and that's the same principle that applies to design we pass information to people but when we do design the way people are used to seeing it it makes them want to make them ignore our design I'm a type of designer that no matter how small the information you ask me to put on your project, no matter how small it is, I'm still, tr still going to try to make it a bit look different from what people are used to seeing. And that's one of the secrets to achieve a successful design. I'm going to say this again before I sign out. There's no one right way to achieve a good design. But as a part of you understanding the project, the projects, understanding the goal. The goal of the project is what influences the look of the design. So whenever you are asked to work on design projects, take note of this. Understand the pro understand the goal, entertain the viewers, and do what you think is right for the project. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. I'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial. I'm sure you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to check the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials. Give this video a thumbs up. This That's one of the ways you can support this channel. All right. Share this video with other creatives and thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.